Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you Vanilla. <gasps> oh no! This is Vanilla, it's a patch editor for the Novation Circuit tracks and the original one. And it's special in two ways. Firstly, it's super simple. Everything that you need to create sounds is on this one page. In fact, I found that I never touched a lot of the parameters at all, or I just give them the same value anyway. So I threw them all out and only left what I really use often. Secondly, I've tried to make the controls and organize them a little like on classic synths because I think people are familiar with it and it's easier to use. So we have two simplified oscillators, an amp section, a three knob filter, a filter envelope, a single LFO with two assignable targets and three knobs for effects. Since I created it, Vanilla has become my go-to editor because it's the quickest, most intuitive and above all most fun way I've ever created patches on the circuit. Vanilla was made with Touch OC, and I made another video about how to install it, how to set it up with a circuit tracks, and I will put a link in the description. Well, then now let's have a look at the editor, and we will start with the buttons in the lower mid of the surface. Now on the top you will see the name of the patch in the editor, and below that the currently selected synth. And you see if I switch the synth on the circuit, it also switches here. However, what you also see is that nothing else in the editor changes. And that's for a purpose, because I don't want it to lose any changes I made in the editor just because I accidentally switched the synth, uh, select another preset or another project. So after any of these actions, you will have to either press send or fetch to sync the editor with the circuit. Send will resend the patch that's in the editor to the circuit and fetch will send uh, the sound that you just hear in the circuit into the editor. Let's do that. Let me select another sound. Okay, fetch, and you see now the patch is loaded. Vanilla also comes with an internal storage and you can load patches from there by clicking on the patch name. You see they come with 64 presets and you can just load uh, any of these sounds by just clicking on the slots. Now let's change this patch a little bit and save it back by pressing the save button. Now I can choose any free slot. You can choose another name if you want, press OK and now it's saved into this free slot. You can also override a patch on the circuit. For that press save. Now we use this button on the lower left and you see it changes if I select another patch. Let's override patch 113, press this button, you can enter a new name, press OK and uh, now it's saved in slot 113. Now let's build a patch and see how the editor works. I will first load an initial sound and you see oscillator 1 is turned full up, that's the oscillator you just hear. And up here you can select one of four basic waveforms for oscillator 1. I will go with the sawtooth. Now you can pick the range. It's the octave, basically. Let's keep that in the middle. Okay, that's fine for now. Now let's turn up oscillator 2. And I will also keep it on sawtooth, but I want the range to be 1 up. Okay, now let's shape the amp envelope more pluggy. Okay, I like that. Let's detune it a little bit. Now in addition to the fine tune and the ranges, you have this interval knob, which will detune the oscillators in semitones. I like that. Okay, now you have uh, these two shape buttons and shape basically means it's uh, the sync parameter if it's uh, any but the square wave and for the square wave it's a pulse width index. But I will keep that as it is. You also have these two special controls that modify both oscillators. Fat is kind of a super saw effect. It adds detuned virtual oscillators and there's a boost button on top of it that will increase the detuning. Drift will add a very low frequency, very slight pitch variation. 
So it feels a little bit like the tuning instability of old analog synths. You can also boost this effect with a button in the center. But I will keep this to a minimum here. Now let's turn to the filter. I want it to be a little bit lower. You can change to a high pass filter here. But we will keep the low pass filter. Resonance, but I want that to be low. And I will keep tracking up, because I want it to be more filter in the lower notes. Next, let's have a look at the frequency envelope. I want this to be very pluggy. To add some click in the beginning, you can add it here. And you can also add a second parameter. And in this case, I actually want it to be the pitch of oscillator 2. Intensity. So this gives it an extra click. A little bit less. So, and in the final section we have the low frequency oscillator. And again you can choose from the four basic waveforms. And let's go with the sine wave. Next let's set the rate and with a center button you can switch it to sync rate. So let's sync it to 8. You can also add a delay. And as a target let's try maybe noise level. No, that's too subtle. By the way you can also add noise here in the mixer section. Okay, let's choose a target that is more audible, like the filter. And let it move up and down a little bit. You could also choose a second target here, but I'll keep that off. Now in the effect section, let's add a little bit of chorus. You can add drive. Again, you can boost that with a button in the middle. And finally, you can also add some portamento. But we don't need that because we already have some glide in the pitch from the filter envelope. So, that's it basically. You also have a mono switch here. And yeah, that's our new sound. Let's save it. Okay. Now finally let's have a look at how to assign the macro knobs. Well, four of the macros have fixed assignments. It's filter envelope, filter frequency, filter resonance and modulation, which is always the intensity of LFO target one. You can transfer the values to these macros by pressing and holding the label. Now the assignable macros are one oscillator, two oscillator modulation, three amp envelope and eight effects. For oscillator, macro 1, you can decide if it's shape 1 or shape 2 or both of them. Let's keep it shape 1. Now macro 2 controls the mix levels, so you can fade in and out certain parts of the mix. And you can select from the buttons on top of it which level is affected. And the way I implemented it for oscillator 1 and noise, you turn macro 2 up to uh, increase the levels. And for oscillator 2 and ring, you turn it down to increase the levels. And the idea is that this way you can create a kind of balance knob between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 and noise and ring. And then for macro 3 amp envelope, you can select the labels to determine which part of the envelope should be affected. And finally, with a button on top of chorus, you can switch whether chorus or drive will be controlled by macro 8. Uh, let's keep it chorus. And in this case, you also can press and hold the chorus label to transfer the value to the effects knob. So that was my quick and dirty vanilla walkthrough. 
Just one last note, you can always click on the question mark down here to get into help mode and then you can select any control to get some information about it. Now I hope you enjoy vanilla as much as I do and have a lot of fun creating patches.